Hello friends, and welcome to RimWorld, story generator by Tyne and Sylvester. This is Mindless Max welcoming you to November 30th, which means tomorrow is December 1st, the month of Christmas. Now, not all of the world celebrates Christmas, although a good portion of it does, and though I may not have the uh, best views on certain policies enacted by certain people, I do happen to believe in togetherness and just people coming together to celebrate love, celebrate caring for one another. And so, in the spirit of that, I am going to be doing a new colony, in addition to my other two I'm currently running, and uh, it's going to be using the same mod pack as uh, the Clinic of the Ebony Cross, but we're going to be doing something completely different. Now, I've already set up the people uh, that we're going to be using and the scenario, so we'll just boot that up. We're going to be using Ratkin, which are probably my favorite non-human species, mostly because I really, really like mice. Not really any other reason than that. Uh, they, they they have to all wear maid uniforms, which is done by the mod author, not me, unfortunately. I, I wish I could get them to wear other clothing, but uh, they I don't think they really can very well. I think actually I can dress them in normal human clothing, so maybe I'll try to do that. Uh, blood and dust difficulty, reload any time mode. Here we are. Now this, the idea with this one is I am going to try to do one year in their lives of their colony for the first 25 days of the month. So starting December 1st, which is when this episode should air, we'll have the first year of the entire colony. Just boom, right out there. So, you know what? Mistletoe. I think that's how it's spelled. Uh, because there's a certain type of terrain I want. We're going to set that there. Uh, we're going to lower the faction numbers down to, oh, let's say 40, which might mean we're only going to get one of each. And generate. All right, so our world has booted up, and the most prominent feature showing right now is the White Prime Opossum, which is apparently the name of the ocean. Woo, there goes the world. The Gato Forest. Okay. Ah, this is what we're looking for, a cold bog. Not exactly as Christmassy as perhaps the Tundra, but, uh, well, we're not playing Santa, are we? Now, I did pick Diego Dyer because, uh, I mean, what is more Christmassy than a uh, chorus of chem-shined up carolers in the form of Muffalo? which he seems to like throwing at you. Okay, so there seems to be only really small hills or flat. Uh, there's a river. Hmm. I don't know if there's any to the north. A bit. I'm tempted to just to settle here because the green emu swamp just it, it speaks to me oh no here this speaks to me even more buffalo wing marsh that's that's just delightful okay what do we have here the barso tribe our nearest neighbors are kobolds and this would be the uh, medieval, what do they call those? Civil kingdom. Ah, just kingdom, yeah, okay. And those are Vikings. And those are the crystalloids. They're always hostile. Okay, so we, we could settle here. Or here. Let's just say. It does have a creek. This one has the creek straight through it. Hmm... 
we will settle here, actually. We only have a 20-day growing period, and it's going to be quite cold. Negative 22 degrees Celsius to 16 degrees Celsius. Um, and 16 degrees Celsius isn't quite room temperature, so even in the middle of summer, it's going to be a little on the cool side. All right. Of course, 300 by 300 is what we like to play on. Let's carry on. Uh, I do have a group set up already. We are going to load the preset of Ratkin siblings. Here we are. So we have Holly and Cole Snowberry. Appropriately themed names. Uh, yes, even the males have very uh, girlish hair and wear uh, mate uniforms in this uh, species. Again, I didn't make it. I just happened to really like the ears. Here we go. And here we are with Cole and Holly in the cold bog. Now our settlement doesn't have a name yet. Creek. Oh, I thought the creek would just dead end somewhere, but apparently it's going to cut our map right in half. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, we are. Ooh. Yeah. Three raptor shrimp, shrimp. Oh, those are actually quite dangerous predators. That's uh, actually somewhat terrifying. We're just going to unforbid all of our items. Okay. Now, when it comes to fighting, um, Holly is actually our only real fighter. I did randomly generate these two. I just kind of changed their names and uh, kept generating them until I had ones that looked like they would work well together. Um... Uh, with only two of them, we're going to have a, a deficit on skill sets, particularly with Ratkin, because they tend to hyper-focus on one or two skills. Hmm. Should have... Now, Holly really likes melee combat, so we're actually going to equip her... What? Cannot haul? Why can't you equip it? Not incapable of anything. You're incapable of cleaning or plant work. That's fine. Okay, that was odd. Okay, Cole, you are going to be our hunter. Oh, and we have Elsie, our snow hare. I did give us. Uh, we were going to start with a pet. I just decided it would be a snow hare, just to be uh, seasonal. So we have our pet snow hare, Elsie, who we're going to work very hard to keep alive and away from the, uh, say, raptor shrimp. All right, where would be the best place for us to settle? What's fertile? Um, quite a bit, actually. I'm surprised how much is fertile. Oh, this bright green is very good for us. Um, so, so just about anywhere is fine. I think we might settle right here next to the steam geyser. This is a lot of open space here. Is it all? Yeah, it's all buildable. Yeah, that's that's not bad. All right, so we can use the steam geyser for heat. So first, we're going to put a stockpile zone around the geyser itself. Nine by nine. Hmm. Four. There we go, eight by eight. And we'll cut down all trees there. All right. Oh, we've got our home zone automatically building. Itch for that is fine. I've already set that to a fence. That's that's an okay home area for now. And actually, we're going to set you to home, just because we want you to move over there. All right, let's get everybody moving.
All right, there's our first picture. So, first of Jugist is our first day here. So, when we roll around to the first of Jugist again, and that will be our ending point for today. That was everything you could cut down. Everything else is too uh, small. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Just drop. Um, so we want to box this in. Um, yes, we'll go out this side. Yeah, we'll go out this side. probably give you a nice fishing area which we can do actually right here so you might need that for food um, put you on large fish oh dear and Holly's not the best constructor at the moment but at least she'll learn it There's a reason I'm using a renewable resource right now. Oh, need to do the schedules. Um, I like it if you would uh, just have some fun in the morning, and in particular work up until bedtime, and then just whatever in the middle there. What else do we have for wildlife? A lot of hostile things. A lot of predators. A lot of predators. Um, it's kind of worrisome, actually. Uh, we're actually going to ask you to cut down that tree. Because we're going to build a butcher's table right there, and just because it's starting to get on nighttime, we're going to put in a couple sleeping spots right there. What temperatures are you two okay with? Right now you're good between 2 and 33, and 2 and 33, okay. So right now we're alright because it's still 14 degrees out. Kinda need to cut that out of the way. This door I need held open, I think. No, we'll keep it closed for now until we know whether or not this gets too warm inside. This is just going to provide us with free heat for the time being. I'm going to put a nice... Uh, furniture? Where are we in furniture? Animal sleeping spot right there. And Elsie can sleep. Come on, Molly, wake up. It's time for you to have some fun. Come on. I know the ground isn't very restful. Yes, please do your meditating, have whatever fun you need.
Um, do you want to help cutting down these plants, please? Because your sister is terrible at it. Not the turkey, the maple tree. Thank you. Yes. Cool. Yes, thank you for hauling all the wood, but we need these cut down. In fact, we're going to need all of these cut down too. This has to be hunted, because it's in here with our meals. Oh, it's gone outside. It would be appreciated, Holly, if you would stop watching. Okay, finally, we have our walls constructed. Um, we managed to make it to construction three. I think you were at two before. Okay, and you... We need to have a place for you to dump bodies. To be right here. Whatever you happen to hunt. And not the rotten ones. And not chunks. And preferably only animal corpses. Those are both fine. Those are still animals. Let's set up our butchering creature priority. Details do forever, but only... There, good. Uh, let's see, we're going to have to actually build an area for you to wander and feed. Now that we actually have that done, let's get working on a field. stockpile zone right here for oh stone mostly let's call those things and Cole's getting some practice in with the crossbow I mean he's not very good at it he's up to one now he was at zero uh, we'll be building you two beds soon uh, what's the temperature like 42 degrees are you getting heat stroke you're going to be getting heat stroke. Uh, we should hold this open. Uh, except we don't want animals coming in right now. Oh dear, oh dear. I want you to move that first thing. And I need that cut down. These two aren't so bad. This one's almost at maximum growth, so it'll be coming down soon anyway. A mad squirrel. Oh dear. Our first encounter with danger comes in the form of a small rodent creature with a fuzzy tail. Oh, here it comes. It's after Holly. And just like that, the threat has ended. Holly mercilessly puts it down. Heat stroke, yeah, look at that. Cole's got heat stroke. Well, we've got it cooling off in here by opening the door, so that's good. And for now, these will do his bedrooms. So again, it's just. Cut all the plants in the area, please, Cole, once you get a chance. Uh, after you're done doing this, of course. This is far more important. Mm 
you know, we will continue to unforbid any bodies that show up. Oh, good, we get to decide what we should be named. Holly believes we should give our new faction a name. Hmm. The Snowberry Kinship. And we should call our settlement... By the creek. There we are. Cole, did you have no plant? Okay, now, now you've planted everything. Okay. Oh, that's already been built in. Okay, uh, build a door here and there. If we need to, we can open them up so he can get in. Why is the silver outside? Did I interrupt you somehow? We're hauling in a dead air horizontal. That's good news. Uh, Colt, uh, just please haul this wood away. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, even with the door open, it's still you know, just it pretty warm in here. Actually, it's like summertime temperatures. Of course, it's not winter yet. Well, it's permanent winter here, but it's not our cold season yet. We are gathering quite a bit of uh, leathers. What can you do? Artistic and architect. Artistic, morbid, and architect. Oh, because you're a masochist. Okay. There we go. What is Cole up to? Bringing in a dead fox. Okay. That's fine. Nice to be able to save these packaged survival mills if we can, because they don't go bad unless you leave them out standing in the open. As long as the predators are doing the hunting for us. Oh. The eerie tree is here. That will cause us problems shortly. Okay, uh, Cole needs something. What do you need? Need food. Well, come eat, silly. What are you doing? Um, 
when you're still in your work period. Uh, don't get ravenously hungry. Go eat. No, I would rather you eat, actually. Oh no, you're not ravenously hungry anymore. Never mind that. And now you have bedrooms. What's it like in here? Not bad, actually. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mad Shock Goat Ew. Okay. Um, I'm not sure we want to take that on. So what we'll just do is we'll forbid the door for now. And back to what we were going to build. Should we build double beds? Give them nice beds right off the bat. Mm. Building a lot of silver would seem interesting, but uh, it, we don't have enough. So, wooden ones. One there, and one there. Oof, that thing makes an irritating sound. Oh, it stopped. Okay. We don't need to forbid the door anymore. They, they stopped before they even woke up, so... All good. Hello, Elsie. Okay, one bed. Two beds. And with that done, we should actually give you some floor. Just through the whole thing there. Cole, what are you doing? to rain quite a bit here. Well, I guess it is a bog. It makes sense. Always cooking us some more meals. That's excellent. Ah, I see Cole is busy delivering the wood for the uh, flooring. Always just busy laying it in. Should improve conditions in here a bit. We do need a storage area. No, uh, is this better farming area down here? It is better farming area right here. So we should fence that off for farming uh, for next season. And we can convert this all to hay grass or something. Perhaps power generation. Over here, we can actually use a storage. We do this. Let's hit allow on these for a moment because I wanted to build the door first. Once she's done meditating, I've just sent her over to prioritize it. Oh dear. There we go. You know, our entire home at the moment is very flammable, but on the other hand... It's not as 
filthy or disturbing for them to look at as it could be. Did we expand the whole area here? No, we didn't. And as before, just a little bit extra. Let's do that right now for this. We've already fenced off. This will be our kitchen. This will at some point be our freezer. Just going to store food in there. Quite hard, actually. Plants eight. Okay, we can actually do heal root and. Uh, okay. So. Beets only will grow in fertile soil. What's this? Uh, fertility only 100%. Okay. Convert this to beats. Beats, 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 beats. There. And we can actually get them planted now. That would be wonderful news. Oh, we can't build across that. Uh, okay, hang on. Oh, we can't build across any of that. So we're leaving that exposed out there. Oh dear. Okay, well, that is what it is. Uh, don't have an option at the moment. We will expand the home area to at least cover it. Just in case of lightning strikes or something. Bulk goods trading. Yeah, it looks like all of this fertile soil is right on the edge of areas where we can't build structures. Ooh, okay. Caravan from the Kingdom of Eros. Uh, are you a Ratkin Kingdom by chance? You must be. That's interesting. Uh oh, an eclipse. Okay, well. That'll slow down our plant growth, unfortunately. working out here in the garden, leaving Holly to do the rest of these trees on her own. But that's fine. I would rather like... We need to get this going. Any stone blocks do forever, but only within this little limit, please. Thank you. I'll see how's it going. Still got grass to chew, so you're happy. Yep, just like that. There you go. Cole, you're right here. Could you actually come talk to uh, Galonis here? Let's see, you will buy our survival meals. 
could also buy our berries. Our steel. No. Afraid that uh, we can't. Actually, do you want to haul this in, please? This does not do too well in the uh, cold. Our raccoon meat actually rotted away. Uh, six more animals up there, though, so. A mad raccoon. Well, speak of the devil. Hopefully it will come and attack uh, our traders here, because they will wipe out pretty quickly. Yep, just like that. Cool. Uh, would you mind hauling this in once you're done planning that one? Thank you. It's only 24 meat. And between the berries and the meat, it looks like we have enough. All those in, and maybe she'll cook it up. Here are these two just sleeping so peacefully in their own beds, finally. Here we go. How's this doing? Eh, it's alright. It's refrigerating outside already and it's still jugist. Oh boy. Get this stuff in as quick as you can, because that may be what we're eating for a good chunk of the winter. Oh, right, and of course, the eclipse, so that wasn't going to be helping our temperatures at all. of any particular thing. Some light leather, which isn't the best. Somebody's got a major break risk. Coal, because you wandered off so far, okay. Oh, you were starving, okay. That will probably fix itself now, I hope. Yeah, you need to break, you need to have some fun. Could you come back? Radiax. Hello. You're different. Oh, something is dying right close by here. Oh, yeah, see? Raptor shrimps. Dangerous, dangerous creatures. Cole, what are you doing? Okay, you're hauling in a raccoon. Then get in straight into bed. 
I'm going to wake you up in time for recreation this time. Keeping an eye on Elsie's food supply here. Rice is pretty well grown. Yeah, it's getting cold outside. We're actually going to... No, oh, it's still time for you to sleep, okay. Put... They're all food and plant matter. Oh, and actually, uh, animal hybrid and paragon corpses of the fresh variety all can go in there, please. At important, and we will actually delete that. And I don't know if I really want this right here right now. I want it... Can we just do a little room out here for it, maybe? Yeah, we could. Okay. Oop, oop. Do, 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 do. Chop wood. But there's any body stuff there at the moment. We should take care of this construction pretty quick. Mavis the Sad, desperate refugee. Claims to have been chased by her home from her home by a vengeful ex-lover. If we let her stay for eleven days, she'll work for free. I mean, we haven't had much trouble with food right now, so I suppose we can accept. We don't really have a bed for you, though. Um, it's just the one. Mavis is. Wearing female leather underwear, and she's a human by the looks of things. Okay. Um, for now, you can just have a sleeping spot. Actually, no, we want you to stay warm, so we'll put it uh, again in here. Right there, I guess. Now, what do you do? What's your bio? Uh, you shoot, you construct, you cook, you're good with animals, and you're artistic. Tattered apparel. Oh, Mavis, okay. You're not staying for terribly long, so I'm not too worried about that. I am happy to see that our rice is going to good use. What do we got? Normal. Excellent. Good. Oh, we have art even already. Good. Good. Poor. Normal. Should remake Cole's bed. Art is... Distant poverty. This furniture is engraved with a portrayal of a hatchet. Okay. Here they come. The 8th Infantry Division is attacking us immediately. They have sent... Oh dear. One of those things is wandering in the area. That, oh, you have a rifle. An old-fashioned rifle. Okay. Um, well, that's certainly worrisome. Okay, at this point, we're actually going to bump the pants up above the tunic, because uh, Holly and Cole are both wearing tunics, and they're unhappy because they're naked from the waist down. Yeah, let's drop that off. And then everybody's going to have to get ready. Let's hide around the corner. I don't know where this guy's going to come from.
I've lost him. I've completely lost him. Oh, he's right there. Uh, hi. Yeah, everybody attack. Holly, are you okay? Just some bruises and cracks. Oh, he is dead. Alright, cool. How would you like a new gun? And everybody just undraft. Okay, just haul it in. We'll compare it to your... Uh, Crossbow shortly, but I think that one will be better. Okay, uh, so at the moment they don't need medicine, they're just frostbite scar. Where did you get that? It must have come with that. Because it hasn't been cold enough to give anybody frostbite yet, I don't think. No, because you would have been treated for it and we didn't have medicine for that. Let's change that to attack. Did you did you treat Holly? Cole. What's this? Normal. Okay, that's that's better than yours. So once we're awake, we'll replace your bed. Mavis, you're staying here how much longer? Six days. Now, oh, just a comparison, 18, 1.5, 27%. Um, yeah, so far this is, despite its quality being poor, it's better all around. 67, 86, 86, 81. The only time that the crossbow is more accurate is when it's at close range, and it's only by 3%. 0 0.2, 5 damage per second, 15% no melee armor. 0.2, and even its cooldown is only slightly shorter, so yeah. When you wake up, could you please come equip that? Hunted Count. Um, do we want to make one of our people a noble? Oh, I accidentally deleted it. Yeah, I can get it back. Psychically hypersensitive. You, Holly would actually make a good psychic, so... You know what? Why... Don't we take it? At least the first level? That one. So we will accept four with Holly. Delasos, uh, just come straight over here, please. The men hunting rat. Just probably faster than you. Where are you? And an exotic goods trader from the agency is approaching. Oh, well, we'll just let them handle the rat. Certainly works for me. your... no, oh, no, Chaos Skip that is not what I said, guys. Hmm. Does this do anything interesting? Let's use it here. This is an open area. Oh. Can we mine that? What that happens if we mine that? Get any stone out of it. 
And the shuttle's arrived, so I guess the rat has died. Oh, you're investigating the eerie tree. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yep. Auto load. Actually, you know what? Why don't you investigate the eerie tree force? Because that will keep our people from going crazy. Flamingo is bandaging themselves up after hunting the rat. Would you guys trade us a dog we could train on? That would be good. Cool. Come talk to them. Yes, they would sell us German Shepherds. Do we have anything we can sell them to get the German Shepherds? Uh, not terribly. No. No, we don't. Sadly. To keep an eye out for anything that might be simpler. And I don't think we're going to get anything. We don't be getting anything from it. Well, at least we're practicing our mining. Nope, oh, it's gone now. Oh. Cancel load. Have you... Are, are you gonna... Did you finish investigating this? You did. Did you write, write the book yet? There we go. Once you've done that, then you can go. Thank you. And off you go. Holly is now a freeholder in the Empire. The Broken Imperium. Now we can do Holly's Human Sour. That should be really quick. Holly, as soon as you're done fishing, please come talk to this fellow. Oh, look at that. The beets are coming up. We have so much plant life right now. Yeah, literally. We are not going to be running out of food anytime soon. I could... build that. And so, Holly takes the first steps of becoming a noble. Thank you, Holly. You have learned... Oops, I skipped it. Let's see. Well, this one didn't happen to say which one she gained. Well, she'll only have one power, so just click on her and bio. Deflection. Okay, so basically she can create psychic armor. Which is nice. Let's 
Something otherworldly stalking your colonists. What? What is it? A deep one, of course. Okay, we have no choice. We have to take care of this now. Where is it? if we can do it on our terms instead of its. So let's come over here. Here it comes. Come over here. Okay, uh, Holly. Step in front and deflection. Hole. You suck. Come on. Don't. Thank you. Okay. That hurt it a lot. Good. Keep doing that. took it down. Okay, she is hurt quite badly. She needs to get into bed now. Um, we're just going to crank your bed rest up. Who's our doctor? Colis. Okay. Go, Holly, go. Pods arrived. Oh, the uh, pods. Some glitter world medicine. Well, thank you, Mavis. Okay, and when you're done doing that, please do this. Okay, you're calling in to a raid. Something, another, something other world. Really? What? Another deep one. We just fought one of you off. Over here again. It'd almost be nice if they would attack him first. Oh, it is. Excellent. Okay. And it killed him. Okay. We didn't lose any reputation, which is wonderful news. Holly. Here we go. Arctic Fox is hunting Holly. There's something much worse hunting Holly at the moment. Okay, you've shot it. It's fairly hurt. And Holly takes it down with a single blow. Okay, can you shoot the Arctic Fox, please? Can you try to shoot the Arctic Fox, please? There we are. Okay. Um, thank you. Cole, can you haul that? Holly, can you... Uh, you can, can I tell you to haul things? Yeah, haul that. And yeah, we kind of want that LMG, I think. Oh, and that. Is that a silver bayonet? Excellent, okay. So once you're done with that, come equip that. Actually, uh, wait. Oh, shoot. No. Hold that, please. I have an idea. Okay. Oh, that's already full. That's why. Okay. Can you drop your rifle? Can you drop your knife? And then come equip your bayonet. And when you're done eating, come equip this modular light machine gun. Oh, we want those components. And we also want the rest of this medicine. Uh, the rest of it isn't such a rush. 
Oh, and the Arctic lion and the bears are fighting? Oh. Raid by the nation of Lael. Group of Gith. They will prepare for a while and then attack. What do we have? Two of them. One with a mace and one with a club. Okay. Should be able to handle them. Uh, oh, we have some steel right here. Okay, we'll have to mine some of that. No, none of our people are good at mining. Like, at all. You can stop fishing. We have enough food. Where are you off to? Finish the meals, good. Let's find them. And they're way up here still. How are they doing temperature-wise? Uh, asthma? You're shivering from hypothermia, so you're not doing too great. You're going to be okay because you actually have enough clothing on. The other one's going to slow way down on the way down here. Oh, something ate up our uh, deep one corpses. That's great. I'm not complaining about that in the slightest. Oh, Stradax been shot. Oh, he's down. Let's see if we can get any closer to this guy, because he's just slow. Oh, you're down. You're... Not great. We don't really need you. Holly, um... Finish him off. Cole can go back to whatever. We could research plate armor. That might not be a bad idea. Tatyana's sad survivors. Banished for moral disagreements. It's two of them. Alright. Take them on. Oh! And they're ratkin. Are either of you good with animals? No, not at all. You're also completely naked and unequipped. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, yeah, you better get in here. Look at he split. Uh, no. It's nice of you to. Uh, Offer to keep us safe from your own thugs, but uh, no. How about Holly Sorla Park? Great. Okay. Um, how about the pair of you actually come indoors and warm up? And for that matter, how about you? Here, you can come wear the poor stuff. Same with you, can wear that, and I guess you can wear the normal pants and the normal cardigan, be better than nothing, there we go. Oh, here they come, I refuse to pay them, so now they're here to try to kill us. Uh, a seeker. Unarmed scope biodrone. 
The rector's unstable and explodes upon destruction. Ooh. You have a knife. You have an auxiliary pistol. And I don't know how you attack. Shooting accuracy. Okay. Party's been called off already, yeah. They will prepare for a while and then attack, okay. Pair of you come up here. You hit the Ibex. Oh. That didn't even. A couple more times you hit him. He's going down. Oh, Holly. Just a burn from that. Okay. Okay, you're getting taken down by that thing. We'll leave you alone. Okay, now they're beginning their assault. That animal needs to work. Ouch. Some burns, just some burns, okay. Um, you're terrible with animals too. Basically, thanks for the medicine, I guess. Um, run into the water, you two. Well, can you come help put coal out? What, you can't do firefighting? What are you doing? Put coal out. Okay, Cole's out. Thank you. Tavi needing help. Okay, uh, friend is interested in learning about other cultures. Da 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 da. Uh, sure. Join our little group of people. Come eat our food. Please, come eat our food. Then you're a minstrel. Hmm. You actually can cast fireballs. Interesting. You're a fire mage. And you're a night owl. You'll actually be happier if I do this. So it does mean you're going to be disturbed constantly. I don't know what you've put on this muffalo, but it looks very cool. Are you the one I trade with? You are indeed. Where are you going? Hi, how would you like a bunch of meat? Because I have too much meat. Just too much meat. What do you have for me? Uh, you could give me a poodle. That I could learn. Yep, I can use for. No, nope. yeah, minimum handling skill of zero. Thank you for the poodle. <laughs> Thank you very much for the poodle. Okay. No, that's too much. Okay. Uh, there. Do you have anything else we'd like? Sure, we'll take your herbal medicine. Uh, you can have that. You can have those. So the last person we tried to sell these to didn't manage to take them for some reason.
Oh. Okay, what group were you from? Nadininum. Nadininum. Yeah, Nadininum Empire. Okay. The Nadininum Empire. What else? Okay. I wonder if we can make friends with you by gifting you a bunch of things we don't actually need. Synthetic meat. Yeah, you can have that. I don't think I want my people eating that. Bird skin. Uh, the light leather. Are we using the light leather for anything? We're using it for crossbacks. So not really. No, we're not using the pig skin. Plain leather we are using. Rat skin and wolf fur we are using. Heavy fur and bear skin we will keep. We have that. I'll keep the fox fur. You can probably have the night leather. Arctic lion fur, the guinea pig fur. And probably a bunch more of this meat. Particularly that. Just the odds and ends. We'll keep the veggies. We don't have much left for those, oddly enough. I wonder how high we can get here. 55. Hmm. Plus 63 if we give them everything. I don't want to do that. We can keep it like that. Plus 48 is pretty good. Particularly if they come back again. Yeah, okay. Almost got them up to positive 50, so that's pretty good. Okay, animals, you are going to be restricted to area one for now, because I want you trained. And I want only one person training you, and that is Holly. What temperatures are you good at, anyway? Uh, I'm down to negative 30, so you might be okay. But you can be trained to haul, so... That's going to be beneficial once these other two leave. So much more room now. Okay, we can just delete that zone again. Okay, we can haul in more corpses now. That's fine. And something is eating the dead bodies. That's good. Actually, while we don't have any like deep ones there, we should haul in that stone. going to suspend this uh, fine stew one. I don't know how much is actually in here cooking. Doesn't really tell me. Bye visitors from Mexico. We should go see if we can gift them any more of this stuff because uh, we're sitting pretty full again. 
Alright, 26 points from being allies. Just a gift. A gift. Uh, we have tons of beef. Okay. Um... there if I give you a bunch of rat leather okay and the light leather and night leather okay that gets rid of most of our meat but Now we're allies. Thank you very much. I mean, it's only negative two, though. I'm certain it was colder before. New lovers. Cole tried to flirt with Callie. And Callie agreed to become Cole's lover? Well, okay. Um, congratulations. But, um, Callie's leaving, so... Not sure what to say about that. There we go, we're starting to be able to sow plants again. It's getting warm enough. There goes the snow. Halfway through April, May. Xerxes. You've named the poodle Xerxes. Oh yeah, Holly. Well, it's nice to know you've developed a bond with something. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we are. Wade across the creek to lie down and stare at this cloud, so. At least the weather's finally warming up enough that you can do so. Arms hopeless nomads. Uh, we're, we're currently looking after some right now. Fourteen days. See how it goes with these other ones, maybe. I mean, we're kind of low on food at the moment. Mostly because we traded so much of it off and now it started rotting. I guess it all would have rotted away anyway by that point. We find ones we can get out to go hunting. Wait, this just go away. Oh, one of them's out there. Oh. Okay, well, we can open the door now. Okay, finally we can get rid of Tavi. Goodbye. You drain on resources, you. Bye-bye. There's our stuff. Okay. Cole, where are you? Yeah, you're coming back in. Holly, you are just starting that. Here, hold this in. Appreciate it if you sealed off our house here.
1.2 days. Here we go. Let's see if we can get them to completely rebuild this wall in that time. They're leaving. Eh, both of them are leaving. Even Kelly. What? It, can we? We could arrest Kelly and then recruit her. Depressive jogger, though. Mm. I mean, she doesn't really have any skills we need. The only one she has that we don't have for her flame is intellectual. So, yeah, just let her do her thing. Oh, well. Sorry, Cole. You'll have to find somebody else. It's not like you were married, so... Okay, so we were going to look at Orms, Hopeless Nomads, then. Just the two of them again? Alright, we can accept that. Okay, you seem to be a Warforged, and you are, I think, a human. Yes, you're human. Hey, you have no skill in animals. You have some skill in animals. Uh. Cole and Kogi both came down with plague. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, who's the next best doctor? Um. Oh, technically, right now, the best doctor is Ladine. Um, <coughs> medical, Cole, rest until healed, Gogi, rest until healed, Holly, please hold, Holly, please haul that, um, Oh, Lydia. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. You are doctoring. Good. Seven percent. That's terrible. Fresh. That's rotting. Why do we? Stu for quite a while, so it's yeah, he needs to stop. Cole, I need you to actually bed rest. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm not sure Gogi's gonna make it. Why are we being fed raw meat? We're taking off self-tending for now. Right, we're just taking you off doctoring for now. There, that'll do it. You may have just doomed you both. Okay. Bill's thrombo hunt. Yep, nope. What are you doing now? Don't you sleep? Okay. Well, it is officially the 1st of Jugast, 5501. So that is it for today. Have a good night, and we'll see you again here at the Snowberries Kinship.